Before I wrap it up, what I'd like to have is, uh, if I could have th two guys, Rocket, you got to sit out on this one. I don't want you to get in. I want two guys that really love the volley, you want to close the net. I want to do this drill I've done for 20 years. It's called two on two. Some of you have seen it many, many times. But I need two guys that love the volley. And Domino, you guys, you and Bo can be a team. I just have two people want to volley. Girls, guys, it doesn't matter. What time you got? Okay, great, great. All right. It doesn't matter. Okay, you guys, listen up. This is, I know, this is, this is done all over the, probably all over the world, but um, ever since the, the late 80s, yeah, come on in. Yeah, ever since the late 80s, you know, once again, no one taught me a lot of these things. You use your creativity. I wanted to put people in positions where they had to make decisions, where they had to be creative, learn the racket like a magician. A magician. I want them to be able to chip and, and dump and work on agility. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to play to 11. We're going to play to 11. I'm going to control the feeds. Make sure that you're loose. I'm controlling the feeds. When it gets to 10, when a team gets to 10, the other team will back up and you'll play defense. I'll give you like overheads and you guys will play defense. So what I'm looking for here is a couple things. Doubles is very neglected in this country. This part of the court nowadays in junior tennis is illegal. Okay, people never come in. So what I'm doing, I'm putting people in positions where they have to use the racket and figure out how to, how to chip it, how to lob it, how to cross, close. So I'm actually having a, a different version of doubles without a serve and a volley where people have to figure out what to do. They're put in very uncomfortable positions. But what I found out is this. The kids love this. Even 20 years later, okay, I see people on the tour, that's the first thing they say. Two on two, let's go, let's go. They love this game because the kids get to be kids. It's fun. They can hit the other person with the ball. But more importantly, I'm doing it for one reason. From a developmental point of view, it's priceless. There you go. Keep the hands in front. Upstairs is open. We'll say 1-0. Hands in front. Be smart. Good creativity. Good creativity. Hands in front. Run it down. Switch, Dom. It's coming at you, buddy. Hit her. No, no, be nice, seriously. No, no, I'm very serious. In a nice way, you can take her out. I'm serious. Take her out. That's the real world. That's the real world. Let's go. We'll say 4-3. Dom, you got to be more aggressive. 5-3, hands in front. That a girl. Good. Be smart. Shorten it up. 6-3. Keep the hands in front. Hands in front. 7-4. Good. Close. Good miss. Be upstairs. Let's go. Hands in front. 8-5. Be ready. Be disciplined. Discipline, you didn't read the spin. You didn't read the spin. Let's go. Way to shadow. Nine, nine, four. We'll say nine, four. Nine, five. Hands in front. Close. Play with your feet. Run it down. Run it down. Here we go. Ten, six. Play some defense. Game. All right. That's game. We'll do another one. Let's go. One more. Let's go. Pick it up. Ready? One more game. Ready? Keep your hands in front. Here we go. Be smart. Pinch that center. See where she's at? Shadow, just like windshield wipers. Go ahead and go over there, Bo. Okay, go. Right there. Now, if the ball goes there, it's a give and take. You've got to give up something. Shadow the court. Shadow the court. Here we go. We'll say 1-0. Keep your hands in front. Good creativity. Good. 2-0. Be smart. Nice softness. Softer down there, Dom. Hands in front. Hands in front. Hands in front. Good first step. Softer. Softer. 4-2. Be aggressive, Dom. You're standing around. Let's go. Not on vacation. Move. Soft. That's good. Run it down. Run it down. Discipline. Poach, Domino. Poach. In case it comes back. Good. Switch. Hands in front. Here we go. We'll say 6-3. Come on. 6-4. Hands in front. 6-5. That a girl. Good. 7-5. Close. Should have hit it when it's higher. Watch the line. You got to watch that. You got a shadow. Here we go. Good. We'll say 9-7. Work the court. 9-8. Hands in front. Upstairs is open. Softer. Nines. Keep the hands in front. Good. Run it down. 10-9. Defense, guys. Nice effort. No, let it bounce. Let it bounce. 10-9. Good effort. Good effort. Okay. Wait. Time out. Calm. Wait. Hold on. Calm down. Good effort. Good effort. Wait. It's 10-9. You got to let it bounce. Nice effort, but that was illegal. 10-9. Tied. Stretch them. Stretch them. Okay. By one. By one. Stole it. Good hands. I like that stuff.
Keep the hands in front. By one. Play defense. Back up. You're going to get a new navel. Be back. Good D. Stretch them. Stretch them. Stretch them. Be smart. Good racket skills. Be ready. Switch, Dom. By one. By one. Play defense, guys. Fence that. Good creativity. I like that. Way to change the channel. By one. Get low, Domino. Get low, buddy. First step. First step. You got it. Nice speed. Discipline. Discipline. Nice calmness. Tied. Keep the hands in front. By one. Get low, Domino. Get low. Tied. First step. Let's go. You're not tired. You're not tired. Move. Let's go. Move. Tied. Read that. Read that. You're on vacation. Let's go. By one. Let's go. Got to read it. Guys, you're getting tired. Read. It's not coming to you. It's not coming to you. Anticipation. Good. Tied. Hand in front. Be ready. Be ready. Get low. Get low. You weren't ready. Be ready. What comes around goes around. Be ready. Discipline. Keep the hands in front. Anticipate. By one. Keep the hands in front. Close, Dom. Get on the net. By one. Discipline. Nice. Way to measure. It's in. Switch. Be ready, Dom. Game. Give it up for these guys. Good stuff. Good job. Thanks so much. Thanks. That's a workout, isn't it? Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks so much. Okay, that's just, that's just a drill that um, a lot of kids do. We've done this for a long, long time. You know, a half hour a day just to work on those skills so they learn to use the racket. A lot of kids just bang the ball. They don't understand how to use the stick, okay? They don't understand how to use the racket. And unless they're put in those positions, how are they going to learn it? Well, maybe if they come to the net on a slice, they might learn it. Or if you served them volleyed, you might work with them a little bit more. But this game, you saw everything on the menu. There's chips, there's dips, there's flips, there's rips, there's people hitting overheads, there's defense, there's sliding, there's gliding. There's people going every which way. And more importantly, it's fun. You play like two or three losses, maybe give a, a, a prize out to whoever wins. Because here's one thing I've always found. When it's competitive and it's fun, you're going to get the most out of the kids. And so that's, that's what you got to do. You got to make it competitive and you got to make it fun. Now, even though there might be four or five teams on the sideline waiting for uh, five or ten minutes till they play, it's okay. It's a, just a little bit of downtime, but it's a, it's a great drill to enhance a lot of um, areas of the court. And this can work with your ladies' teams, men's teams, not just with good kids. Okay, and you can control the situation. The degree of difficulty of where you put the ball and who you want to do it to, maybe somebody you want to do it a little bit more to, to work on that agility. You got control of that situation.